The Peterson, eight appearances. This will be his seventh start. Unblemished as far as the record's concerned. ERA is still uh, pretty low, but I don't, I don't think he's pitched the way he's capable of pitching as a starter yet. So one out and nobody on there, Willie Adamas. Adamas rips one down the left field line. That's headed towards the corner. Extra bases for Willie Adamas. A one out double to get the Brewers offense going in the first and tried to bury the slider that's back to back hit batters on that back foot slider from Peterson back to back hit batters here for Peterson the door wide open for the Brewers to strike first Luis Urias 2 1 pitch ground ball left side that's going to sneak through and into left field Adamas will score McCutcheon around third he's going to score it's a two run single for Luis Urias. And the Brewers take a 2 0 lead. And the Mets' 30 inning scoreless streak at home comes to an end. Well, two big runs early, especially with Corbin Burns on the mound for Milwaukee. That'll bring up Keston Hira. And that mm. fastball trying to dot the outside corner, and he got the call. That is a generous call by the rookie umpire, Edwin Moscoso, and one that Peterson needed badly for the second half. Now, switch hitting catcher Victor Caratini, the batter. And a half swing, and he went around strike three. Back foot slider by Peterson, who strikes out back to back hitters to limit the damage to two runs. Corbin Burns, who is looking to get it going here in the month of June. Last two outings did not go his way. He has made adjustments. He is ready for this game. He's ready to put the last two games in the rearview mirror. Does this feel similar? Two balls put in play that were not hit hard. Here's Francisco Lindor. Two balls and two strikes on Lindor. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a cutter just off the plate. And that is a big strikeout for Corbin Burns. Two down now for Jeff McNeil. The 0 1. Ground ball. One hops the glove of Hira, who plays it behind the bag and will win the foot race to retire McNeil. Burns pitches around a little bit of traffic after the back to back singles to start up the inning. Mark Mathias, right hand batter. It's one and two the count. And there's back foot slider to get Mathias. And that's the second out, third strikeout for Peterson. Bottom of the second inning here at City Field. Eduardo Escobar leads off for the Mets. That strike three over the outside corner is a cut back over the outside corner. So the second strikeout for Corbin Burns. And there's two down. And Guillaume is the batter now for the Mets. Got a nasty change up down and away. Strikeout number three for Corbin Burns. That's two balls, two strikes. Urias at third with two outs. Two and two. Pitch to Hira. Swing and a high pop-up, shallow right center. Nimmo moves over to his left. He's there. Backs up a couple steps, makes a one-handed catch, and retires Hira. Two out and nobody on. Two nothing Brewers in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a changeup. That is the fourth K for Corbin Burns. Three innings through his outing. Brewers have him on the corners with nobody out here in the fourth inning. It brings up Mark Mathias. First pitch. Swing and a ground ball hit to shortstop. Could be two, but it'll score a run. Lindor fields. Throws to second one. And then McNeil, he throws the relay away. In from third to score is Caratini. It's 3-0. Give an RBI on the play to to Mark Mathias. 3 0 Brewers now. Gives a little bit more cushion for the Cy Young Award winner, Burns. Struck him out 95 with that cutter. Strikeout number five for Burns. So now with two outs, Jeff McNeil stands in. Grounded out to first his first time. McNeil drives one deep toward the right field corner. That ball is out of here. Jeff McNeil jumping on a first pitch from Corbin Burns to get the Mets on the board. Fourth home run of the year for McNeil to cut the Brewers lead to three to one. Now Burns had retired 11 in a row, but McNeil turns one around to get the Mets their first run of the night. Two outs, the base is full of Brewers. They've had a ton of chances to score runs, cashed in in the first and the fourth. This is a very favorable matchup. Caratini to the plate in this spot with the bases now loaded. 3-2, down and in. Caratini draws the walk, and the Brewers will score a run the easy way here. Adamas is plated for the fourth run of this game. It's a 4-1 Brewers lead, and the bases remain loaded for Lorenzo. Kane. Ground ball off of Reed. Lindor bobbles. Everybody's safe. The Brewers get another run as Lindor couldn't handle the deflection off of Reed. Bases remain loaded as Jace Peterson is going to come off the bench and hit. And now Peterson into the gap in right center. Down base hit. Two runs are going to score. Kane is going to be held at third as Jace Peterson comes off the bench with a two run double. Craig Council pushing all the right buttons here tonight. Walk Yelich intentionally to load the bases again for Willie Adamas. It feels like Adamas just came in and scored moments ago. 
And a line drive into left field, a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Peterson to score. 9 1 Brewers. Three for four for Willie Adamas. You knew it was going to happen. You just knew the Brewers were going to break out in a big way. Guys are doing stuff. You get excited. Who's next at the plate? Get me out there. I'm ready. First and second now for McCutcheon. And now McCutcheon drives one into the gap in right center. Yelich is going to score with ease. Adamas is held up at third on a long single from Andrew McCutcheon. The Brewers have hung a 10 spot on the Mets. A seven run top of the fifth and things a little bit different for Corbin Burns as he takes the mound here for the bottom of the fifth swing and a miss he struck him out sixth strikeout for Corbin Burns and there's two outs in the inning for Mazika three two pitch swing and a miss he struck him out Burns with a pair of strikeouts in a scoreless one two three bottom of the fifth inning he's got six strikeouts on the night now well, here's Starling Marte who is one for two and Marte is hit by the pitch. So after three Brewers got struck tonight, first met to get hit as Marte takes it in the right hand. And Buck's going to come out and see if he's okay. Yeah, he'll do a little grip test to see if he can stay in the game. And yeah. It's like they're he's coming out. Yep, it's yep, yep. ten to one game. No reason to take a chance here. Just got a medical report on Marte. Contusion of the right forearm. X-rays were negative. He's considered day to day. Alonzo tonight fouled out twice. Infield back at double play depth. One out. Runners at the corners. Ten to one Brewers. We're in the sixth. Two two pitch. That time he went around. And Alonzo strikes out. It is the eighth strikeout tonight for Corbin Burns. So now two out for Jeff McNeil, who homered in the fourth inning. And he loops this one into right center. That's going to fall for a hit, and that'll bring in a run. Nemo crosses the plate. Mm. To third goes Plummer, and McNeil trying for an extra base is thrown out. RBI single for McNeil, but he is thrown out. Brewers trying to finish this one up, and a piece of history for Craig Council in the process. Canada right. Hunter Renfro is underneath of it. He will make the catch. And Craig Council make it 564 career victories. He is atop the all-time wins list in Brewers managers history.